Okay, so um, in the previous uh, tutorial video, we have seen how to set up the model by creating some turtles and uh, how to create a link between two turtles taken at random into the turtle population. So I will now uh, always speak about turtles, so write code with turtles, but uh, you have understood that turtles are nodes. So uh, one of the previous problems in the, of the first of this first version of the model is that uh, you can see that on, in fact the the world is wrapped as a torus. A torus is like a donut. It's a, a geometrical uh, 3D object. Uh, it's like a cylinder, but uh, whose extremities are joined together with a hole in uh, in the middle. So basically, everything that uh, leaves the world. In this on this side will uh, reappear on this side and everything that uh, leave the world on the on the top uh, side of the world will reappear on the bottom uh, side of the world so to prevent that we will have to edit the properties of the world um, of our model so you can see that uh, these two checkbox are checked so world wraps horizontally we, we unclick that and unclick that too do again setup and that should uh, do the job. Okay, so we have a mechanism that add uh, links at random between some turtles. Okay, um, in this in the second uh, tutorial we will see how to uh, I can't remember uh, we will see how to select uh, a node and uh, create the edges from the same node. So, basically uh, here, creating a link creates uh, links uh, from random totals to another total. Uh, now we want to uh, create a link from uh, the, the same total at each time. Basically we want to create a star for example. So, uh, we will have to define a variable for each node and say, okay, this variable is true if the node is selected. Okay, so um, first we will have to declare the variable of totals. So um, you declare a variable by the keyword totals dash own. That is the own variables of totals. You take, you make a square bracket, and inside the square bracket, you put the list of the variables that belong to totals. So here, we will choose the name picked to see if uh, or selected. Selected is better. If the total is selected, okay. So. Um, we have still our setup method, create single link method. I will remove the blank space to gain some space. Okay. We will make a, a function to select uh, to select um, a total at random. So uh, we will uh, um, call that to uh, select one node. Okay, so uh, in order to to visualize the selected uh, node, we will first put every node blue. Okay, so we ask turtles to set the color variable to blue. Okay, so uh, now every node is blue. Okay, go back to the code. So the first thing to 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 do is to uh, say that. Uh, one random total will be selected. So we do as uh, we do as uh, in the create single link function. We ask one of the totals to do something. To do what? To do first to set the variable selected to true. So you do that by set the variable name the value set selected true. Um, so, and to distinguish the selected total from the other, we will set the color to red. Okay, set color red. Okay, let's try this. Interface, setup, okay. We need to call the function uh, select 
select one node, so we will create a button whose the name is the name of the function, select one node. Okay, and we call the function, and this total is selected. So for now, it's all, uh, it's all that it does. Uh, what happens if I uh, click another time on the button? Oh, we have two selected uh, totals at the same time. And we do, we do not want that. We just want one total to be selected at each uh, time. So we have to do a little uh, modification. Before we ask one of the totals to be selected and to be put in red, we have to deselect every other total because, as you have seen, we have one, then two, and if I select another node, we now have three selected totals, and we, we only want one selected total, uh, total at the same time. So, before to select one of the nodes, I have to deselect the other node. So, I have to put the variable selected to false for every total. So, I ask every total, every node, to set the selected variable to false. And if they were red, I have to turn them back to blue. So, I have to set the color to be blue. I close the square bracket, I go to the interface, and then I set up, I select one node, okay, and then if I click another time, the, there is only one uh, selected total at the same time. Okay. So now, what we have to, to do is to say that the create single link function will only apply to the selected total. So we will modify the code of the create single link function and say, okay, you still create link with one of the other total, but only if you are the selected total. So we won't, uh, we won't call a random total again. We will call the totals that have the selected variable set to true. And you, we do that with the keyword with. We ask total with something in particular. Here, selected is true. We ask total with the selected variable to true to do something. So, after with, you, t you, t you put a condition that can be, uh, for example, a variable is, uh, let's say, uh, weight is superior to 20. For example, it's a, con it's a conditional value, value like uh, in a if else statement in the in traditional program but here what we want to check is if the total is selected so if selected is true so we have modified the function creating a link will ask the totals with the selected value to be true to create a link with one of the other totals as you can see the code is pretty readable by reading uh, it allows you you understand uh, what uh, it's the main principle of the function. So okay, we go back to the interface, we set up the model, we select one node and we create single link with uh, this node and another. Okay, the first, the second, and so on. You can see that sometimes I click on create a single link, but no link is added. It's because uh, the other extremity of the link uh, that has uh, the blue, the red uh, node is taken at random between the other uh, totals. But if there is already a link between two nodes, the link is not recreated. We don't want to make uh, duplicates of links between the same two nodes. So sometimes, since there is not uh, there is no there is not much uh, totals, the link is not created because the, select, the random total to be connected with the red total have been already select, uh, have been already linked to the red total. Okay, so by doing that, we have uh, we have done a star. In fact, huh? you have uh, you have uh, the red node that is connected to uh, many other blue nodes. Okay. Um, what we want now maybe is to to have a little bit of control on the number of nodes of our network because here we have put in the code okay create 10 nodes 
So uh, maybe it would be good to make a parameter that could vary uh, and say how many nodes uh, you, we could create in our model. So we will do that by adding a slider to define a value between one, uh, let's say two, uh, because uh, for a link you need on, uh, at least two nodes. So from two to 100, okay, and we will uh, call that NB nodes for a number of nodes. Okay. This will create a variable that is accessible from the code uh, pane. So instead of saying at the setup function, I want to create 10 totals and always 10 totals, I will just re replace the 10 by NB nodes. I go back to the interface. I have put NB nodes to, let's say, uh, 42. Okay. And we have 42 nodes. Then I select one node, I create a single link. I select another node, I create some link, select another node, and so on, and so on. Okay, so that's it for the, the second step of our model. We now have a, um, a parameterizable number of nodes in the, in the graph, so from uh, two to 100, okay. Uh, we can select one node at random and create links between this red node and the other. We can do that for uh, any node pick at random. Uh, so it's not too bad. Uh, in the, the next step, we will uh, see how to create uh, several nodes uh, at a time. Okay.